and welcome back to the anime news for the week ending September 6th, 2019. Starting with uh, news about the manga service Manga Rock, which provided a whole bunch of manga, and then a bunch of folks involved in it, allegedly uh, involved with it, got arrested. Well, we now have heard that uh, they have revealed to the website Jcast News that they will be shutting down. Um, the website's still accessible and the app's still up, so I don't know when it's going to happen. Um, however, their their website and their Facebook page are down, and of course, Facebook is life, so that's that says a lot. Um, they uh, the, the people involved, not a basement studio, said that they started this as a project from the staff for college students and got their scanlations that were already released. So they're basically saying, oh, and here's a quote. At the time, we didn't understand the manga industry, and we didn't know the origin of the scanlations, um, including things without official license. Time, as time has passed, we've come to understand the damage being incurred by manga creators and publishers. Moreover, as our popularity increased, our, the damage also increased. Therefore, we are deeply reflecting on our role in accelerating the popularity of scanlations, and we give our heartfelt apologies. In other words, they got caught. And now they are revealing that and uh, kind of talk, talking about uh, all that. So that's kind of, you know, okay, fair enough. Uh, but these servers will apparently get shut down thanks to the action of um, police and some of the major uh, Japanese publishers who kind of went after them. So apparently actually going after these folks really worked. Moving on, a bunch of uh, new uh, anime announced this week. We're about a month out from the next season, so we need to get a lot of um, new shows announced, which is cool. Uh, we do know that uh, Gen Urobochi of uh, Madoka Magica and other things, um, as well as the Fate Zero novels and uh, Fate Stay Night visual novel and such, they're working on a new scenario for a hardcore... He is working on a new scenario for a hardcore mecha work, which is currently titled uh, Project O. Probably means it'll be a title with O at the front. We'll see. Um, no news about the format of the new work, just hardcore mecha. Could be a game, could be anime, could be who knows, maybe a novel. Um, but that's pretty exciting to see what uh, Urobochi would bring to that. Who ever knows. Um, moving on, uh, there's an announcement of a new Pokemon anime called Pocket Monsters. I.e. the name of Pokemon originally in Japan. Um, it'll be a new show including all the Pokemon in all of the main games so far, from Red and Blue all the way up to the upcoming um, uh, a new one, uh, Sword and Shield. So that's pretty exciting. That we'll see have a new anime series with all those things. Uh, I don't believe there's any news beyond that. The teaser just showed a bunch of different Pokemon, you know, sliding across. Um, and uh, September 29th, we will get a reveal of more information. Uh, during the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime series. Other than that, who knows? Will Ash come back as a 10-year-old? Let's be honest, probably. Let's see here. Uh, we have a, also an announcement of a new uh, Junji Ito adaptation. His manga Uzumaki is getting adapted into an anime series. It'll be a mini-series made at Production IG, which is pretty exciting, um, directed by Hiroshi Nagahama, who directed a little show called Mushishi. So that'll be pretty darn cool. Um, also cool uh, knowing that it'll be released um, uh, on Toonami in the United States before it hits Japan. Wow. And the music will be composed by Colin Stetson, who worked on a thing called Hereditary, which I'm actually not sure of. So that's pretty darn cool. New Jinji Ito and coming to uh, Cartoon Network first. Kind of surprising. Moving on, a uh, new Astro Boy anime called Go Astro Boy Go. Uh, although this time it shouldn't be quite as depressing as before because it is aimed squarely at preschool children. Um, it'll launch on, uh, on TV Tokyo on a new time slot aimed at preschoolers called Preschool Time. It'll run uh, every Thursday for half an hour at uh, during the 6 o'clock uh, time block, basically. And um, the description of the show is as follows. The ecosystems of planet Earth are endangered. Lucky for us, a super-powered robot boy is flying to the rescue. Um, Astro is on a mission to help anyone anywhere in the world with any problem involving natural phenomena. Go, little Astro boy, go. So it sounds like a, an environmental science kind of a show with Astro boy flying in to help people with a, some cute orange-haired girl and a 
blue cat person and whatever. But hey, new Astro Boy is pretty cool. Um, ah, Hereditary is a good horror movie. Came out lot, that, that, they came out not that long ago. Thank you, Kevin Trotter. That's good to know. So yeah, more Astro Boy coming in. Sort of a Powerpuff Girls-esque uh, feel, which is kind of interesting. Um, new information on Pompo the Cinephile. There's an anime adaptation already announced for that, but we don't, didn't know exactly what. It's going to be an anime film. Um, there was uh, uh, an ad streamed by Katakawa to commemorate the release of the second volume of the manga. So this is pretty darn quick for it to get an, uh, an anime adaptation. Um, the thing is, the first volume came out in 2017, so it's been kind of a slow release. Um, it'll be animated by Clap, C-L-A-P, and the producer will be uh, Ryuchiro Matsuo, who produced In This Corner of the World. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, um, it'll, it's basically, um, a manga about the craft of movie making, which focuses on a, a movie producer who also happens to look like a girl, um, and it's kind of a movie buff. So that's pretty cool. We will see how that, uh, works out. It looks like a fun concept for uh, an anime and an anime film. Also announced a new anime called Ikebukuro Westgate Park, which will, um, uh, was a, a novel series. Uh, new uh, TV anime uh, premiering in 2020. It'll be produced by the same uh, producer as New Game and uh, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. It's a mystery novel series set in Ikebukuro Ward of Tokyo. Um, and uh, centers on a fruit vendor who is a troubleshooter, helping his friend with solving various incidents. Uh, there are 13 novels already in the series. Pretty crazy. Um, with the 13th uh, shipping this week. There's a popular live action series in 2000 and a popular special um, in 2003, uh, manga adaptation of, of four volumes. So that's pretty darn cool that we'll be getting uh, more of that. Um, not, not too many like full scale mystery series in anime, so that'll be that'll be kind of nice. Uh, let's see here. Um, also announced Gal Tokyoru, um, an anime and a live action project coming from that, both premiering in April of 2020. It's about a gyaru, a um, Japanese girl who uh, dresses up in sort of modern fashion and uh, looks very distinctive, usually bleached blonde hair, um, begins when this gyaru named Kaede picks up a dinosaur and begins living with it in her room. But the, dinos the, the dinosaur uh, eats human food, watches TV, and even enjoys being fashionable. So it seems like a weird, you know, fun little, little story. Uh, uh, launched by a married couple in Karancha's Young Magazine last October, and the first compiled book came out April 5th. So again, pretty br uh, quick adaptation, um, and will be uh, um, will be coming here pretty darn soon. So that's uh, yeah, April 2020. So I mean, that's six months away, but still not bad. No, six months away. No, I'm like like nine months away. Anyway, whatever. More anime, not a bad thing. Uh, also announced, this is kind of an odd one, um, a crowdfunding promotion was launched for a VR anime of Teasing Master Takagi-san, um, also known as, where did this one go? One second. I don't have the, the notes for this. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. Sorry. I got it. We got it. We got there. Um, so if you've heard of uh, Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san, also known as Teasing Master Takagi-san. Um, this crowdfunding effort is looking for about $140,000 to produce a VR anime for the Oculus Quest. The crowdfunding is running until October 10th, and it will be in the viewpoint of Nishikata, who, and basically you will be teased by Takagi. Uh, the anime came out, I think, last season or the season before. Um, it'll recreate notable scenes from the original manga and anime, um, and you can go, um, you can uh, be there either at school or at the beach. So, hey, you know, if you want to be teased by Takagi-san, that is a potential for you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that is, that's a new anime coming. Uh, also, uh, some other announcements. One second. There we go. Not quite anime, but a live-action uh, live stop-motion anime of Haikyuu was included in the DVD bundle, um, or will be included in the DVD bundle for the 42nd volume of Haikyuu. Um, it'll, it'll be 10 short episodes um, featuring the team as puppets. And uh, yeah, so it's an original story exclusively for the DVD. 
um, written by the script supervisor for the anime adaptation. And so you're going to get a, a stop motion version of Haikyuu. Personally, I love stop motion, so I'd love to see this when it comes out. Hopefully it's, uh, it's fun. That'll come out on March 4th, 2020, so a little while to wait. Um, but yeah, stop motion anime, kind of cool. If you count that anime, right? Whatever. Speaking of, a uh, cool new anime dropped this week called Jurassic. Uh, it's an animation by a bunch of young talents at Toy Animation. There's been a big deal uh, over the past mm, 10 years or so about trying to get more new talent into the anime industry and kind of get them out of the trenches of those early years and really feature that new young talent. And Jurassic looks like, looks like it's one of those projects. Um, it is based on a, um, a series of picture books uh, about dinosaurs. And so this is a uh, uh, sort of a riff on that book series. Um, think of it as almost like, almost like a Makoto Shinkai uh, sort of short film. Uh, it's also a little, um, little um, Mamoru Hosoda as well. Uh, there's just a really fun vibe to the whole thing, very colorful. And just this really fun little one minute short. So check that out. The Jurassic anime by Toy Animation. Really fun thing that dropped this week. So that's all the news for this week. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back next week with more news.